Good afternoon, everybody. We are just about coming towards the end of another week of school here, and I thought it'd be useful for me to update you with some of the things that have happened this week and are going to be happening next week. Since I've last spoken to you, the local community has suffered some quite significant flooding, and we are supporting a number of our families that have needed help throughout this time. We're also supporting Meadowside Primary School, so you're probably aware that Meadowside Primary School has suffered some quite serious flooding, which means that the students who were attending there can no longer do so. So they are currently being housed here so their education can continue and that will continue through until approximately March the 8th and possibly yeah, beyond that. Last night we had our Year 10 Parents Evening and I'd like to thank all parents and carers that attended that. We had a really, really impressive attendance in relation to that and it's positive to see the parents are still continuing to support their, their, their youngsters as they head into the rest of this school year. One thing we have been looking at since I've last spoken to you are the findings from the survey that we sent out around about 10 days ago in relation to our remote curriculum and the remote teaching. The three emerging themes coming from that the first being that overwhelmingly parents seem to be really appreciative of the structure of the learning that we're putting in place, which is sticking very, very closely to, to the school day. So that's something that we're really pleased about and we intend to continue as we head through the next few weeks. The second theme that's really starting to emerge is that parents requiring a greater idea of what students are meant to be covering in relation to their subjects and the topics that they are studying. The first thing to say in relation to that is that I'll direct you to our website where you will see our curriculum overview pages so you'll get a sense of what students should be studying. We also send out on a half-termly basis our curriculum bulletin which gives a very precise overview of what students will be studying across a six, seven or eight week half term. The next edition of the curriculum bulletin will be an emailed out and sent out to parents at the end of this half term. The third emerging theme coming from the feedback that you've offered us is in relation to screen time and the balance of screen time and non-screen time the students are currently experiencing. I think what we are concluding based on what we've been through in relation to remote learning is that some of the students and some of the staff really are struggling with five hours of screen time. So we're thinking carefully about how we balance the learning going forward that will require students to be in front of the screen, but also giving students away from the screen so they can work independently. So there'll be more information to follow that in the coming weeks. I'm sure that you've seen this week the date of the 8th of March has appeared in the public domain about that being the earliest time in which students and the youngsters can start coming back to school. I will emphasise that that seems to be the earliest date suggested and there's not much more to say about that at the moment in relation to planning. What I can assure you is that we're going to keep watching that detail closely as soon as we get a real clarity of understanding of what is expected of schools, I'll inform you about how we intend to bring students back to school in the springtime. The next thing and the final thing I want to update you on is that next week is Children's Mental Health Awareness Week and we've got a number of events planned throughout the week that will be starting on Monday and that will be a good opportunity for students to, look, to learn some strategies about how they look after their mental health, particularly in relation to the challenges that they're facing in relation to working in isolation and remaining at home for extended periods of time. So there's quite an exciting week of activities planned for the students. I will draw attention to one slot next week in which we are suspending lessons, and that is Wednesday afternoon from about 12.30, we'll be suspending conventional lessons and students are going to be given a plan and an overview of activities to undertake throughout the course of that afternoon to uh, support their mental health and to support their physical health and an opportunity to share those with their classmates as a result of that. The theme of that afternoon is about expressing yourself and again students will get a lot of information about that at the start of the week in order to kick off that week which is going to focus on maintaining and improving their mental health. So that's it for the time being. I look forward to updating you in, in the coming weeks. Thank you very much once again for all the support you continue to give the school and the youngsters at home.